Good morning, this is Tuesday the 3rd of May and it's Coffee with God. Trust you got a decent cup of coffee with you. Just have a look at that one. Amazing, amazing head of crema on this coffee this morning. If you have your Bibles, turn to 2 Corinthians chapter 12. We're going to look at verse 10. 2 Corinthians 12 and verse 10. The context is Paul is uh, experiencing a thorn in the flesh, a messenger from Satan who spent who sent to try him, to test him. And in that context of he's asked three times for the Lord to remove this trial, this test, this this hurt, this sickness, this whatever it is. The Bible is vague. We don't know what it is that uh, he's exactly experiencing. But he's prayed three times and the Lord says to him, uh, my grace is sufficient for you. In other words, in this life, you will carry this weakness. Um, your body is not yet glorified. You're still in the flesh, but my grace is enough for you to get you through this day. And then comes verse 10. Therefore, I am well content with weaknesses, with insults, with distresses, with persecutions with difficulties for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Now, we oftentimes focus on the second half of the verse. Uh, when I'm weak, then I'm strong. But now, look at what, for Christ's sake, um, for the sake of glorifying Christ in the way we respond and the way we live through, this list of things. Therefore, I'm well content. Um, the NIV says, I am delighted. <laughs> I'm well content or I'm delighted for Christ's sake. And then it lists these incredible things. Weaknesses, insults, distresses, persecutions, and difficulties. Um, I don't know about you, but I can't think of the last time. I jumped for joy. I was delighted. And I was well pleased with those kind of things in my life. But again, um, I think Paul is saying to us, and it's all in the context of God's grace is enough. So we're in the fifth month of the year, and uh, we've already uh, broken the back of of the start of the year. we well into, here in the Southern Hemisphere, we're well into going into a, a nice cool winter. Uh, May the Lord's grace be enough for you today. Mag sy genade genoeg vir jou wees. Genade onthou is nie net reddingskracht nie. Dit is die kracht, die vermoe van God in Jesus Christus om, om die lewe te doen. Uh, baie keer sal ek sê, as jy nie Jesus ken nie, moet nie sterf nie. En as jy wil uh, uh, lewe in volheid doen, dan moet jy Jesus in elk geval ken. So, uh, Ken Jesus, get to know Jesus. And here's just another exclamation or another emphasis for me to uh, to pray for, to push for, to evangelize, to reach out to the lost, the least, and the lonely, to get to know those who don't know Jesus so that they can get to know Jesus. Because this world is a difficult place. This world is full with weaknesses in the flesh. We're weak with insults, with distress, with persecution, with difficulty. And as a Christian, I can be well content or delighted or well pleased in those circumstances, those situations. So many people don't know Jesus and they're going through those self-same things. Don't be selfish. Get to know them so that they can get to know the Jesus in you. For Christ's sake, for Christ's sake, I will endure these things because that's my testimony. I can endure. In my weakness, I am strong because of Jesus in my life. My friends, I pray for you. If you're a Christian, I pray that God's grace will, will hit through your life today, that you'll just come to realize again the deepness, the power, and the presence of God's grace in your life. If you're not a Christian, 
and you're listening to this, I pray that you'll get to know Jesus. Come and drink a cup of coffee with me. Come drink a coffee some with me. Come genet a lekker kopie coffee. Wat ek het vir jou maak, um, ek maak nie thee nie, so by the way, my nie, my nie eers kom vraag nie, maar ek, ek sal jou lekker kopie koffie maak, en sit ons daar gesels ons, uh, mag jy wonderlijke, wonderlijke dinsdag hee, in die genade van die Heere.